Congress writes a new farm bill about every five years, which is supposed to deal with a wide range of agricultural issues from crop insurance to nationwide food insecurity. Maine's Congresswoman Shelley Pingree sits on the House Agriculture Committee, which has been on a nationwide listening tour with farmers. And today they came here to Maine. News Center Maine's David Guilford has more from Freeport. As part of a national tour, Congresswoman Shelley Pingree hosted members of the House Agriculture Committee today in Freeport. In addition to farm visits, this is a tour of listening sessions where farmers and residents can share goals and challenges they want to see addressed in the new farm bill, which the committee plans to draft when they get back to D.C. We had a chance to meet with them beforehand, and I asked their thoughts on any congressional action to increase worker protections in the wake of Governor Mills vetoing a farm worker minimum wage bill. I think you'd find all of us looking for ways to support um, labor in, in general, and certainly farm labor, because all of us hear from our constituents all the time that there's a huge worker shortage, worker issue. And at the federal level, the biggest uh, concern has been around immigration. Meanwhile, Governor Mills has assembled her own committee to draft a new minimum wage bill. In other news, PFAS has been a major issue among made farmers who were some of the first whistleblowers in the nation on the issue. Reporters asked the committee about these forever chemicals as well. The question today is how do we remediate, you know, and how do, uh, if we can, how do we uh, rehabilitate that, uh, you know, that, uh, either the soil and or livestock that have been, have been exposed. The current federal farm bill expires this year and the committee plans to compile these nationwide comments as they draft a new one. In Freeport, David Guilford, New Center, Maine.